Hi, it's a Mark Chris from Memorial Sloan Kettering. Uh, again, uh, we've had another uh, fantastic year for developments in the lung cancer field. Uh, 2021 uh, led to many uh, important um, uh, presentations that showed us new medications uh, that can lead to uh, benefit and, and hopefully the cure of more patients. I'm just gonna highlight the, uh, the top five for this year. I think number five would be the emergence of antibody dr drug conjugates. Uh, Dr. Bob Lee, my colleague, uh, years ago showed how adotrastuzumab and tansine was helpful for persons with lung cancers with uh, HER2 mutations. And this year he showed again that another ADC, trastuzumab derixtecan, was even more helpful uh, for patients uh, that had HER2 mutant lung cancers in a patient in the New England Journal. I think other uh, agents of this class are, are uh, moving uh, forward. As a construct, the ADCs are going to become more and more important. The uh, next extremely important development was the approval of at least three medications for uh, targets where we didn't have uh, um, drugs previously. For EGFR exon 20 insertions, we now have amivantinib and mobocertinib, and for KRSG12C, we have sildorasib. These were always targets where we thought we would have an, a, a target therapy, but we're close but not there, and now we're there. All of these targets have uh, FDA-approved uh, therapies available uh, in uh, 2021. Uh, number three uh, is the paper by Dr. Ford at AACR that looked at neoadjuvant chemotherapy and nivolumab, comparing it to chemotherapy alone. And there, what they saw was a clear uh, response benefit from uh, the three uh, drugs over the two, uh, and also a higher rate of pathologic complete response, uh, the main goal of the trial, and also uh, reported uh, in a press release uh, later, uh, 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 later after the presentation in association between uh, the treatment with nivolumab and chemotherapy over chemo alone improving disease-free survival. Here, three cycles of therapy uh, before treatment, no adjuvant therapy actually given, led to an improvement in DFS um, uh, presented this year and, and hopefully a paper and, and an FDA approval will follow that. I think the uh, second most important thing this year was the presentation uh, uh, at the uh, ASCO meeting of adjuvant uh, atezolizumab. There, atezolizumab in patients that had a PDL1 greater than 1%, stages 2 and 3A, had a significant and dramatic improvement in progression free survival, survival adding atezolizumab in. Um, it's become uh, a new standard of care. Uh, it's been uh, approved by the FDA, quickly included in guidelines. So now, in addition to uh, uh, osimertinib for patients with EGFR mutations after chemotherapy, uh, after a curative surgery, we now have a tezolizumab for patients with PDL1 uh, staining 1% or greater. Uh, uh, who have a complete resection. I should also mention, though, that these things are mutually exclusive. The um, patients that uh, have targets do not achieve the degree of benefit as those patients that do not have a gene target. Uh, and it's important to test patients, number one, to find gene targets for patients that could benefit from drugs like atezolizumab, and conversely, those that don't have a target quickly make sure they get atezolizumab. And I think the most dramatic development this year is we have finally hit the 50% uh, level, uh, rounding up a little bit, to the proportion of patients with EGFR mutant cancers that have a, a, target, a gene target. You know, people always talked about, oh, it's only a few percent of patients, but when you add all those percents up, we're near 50%. So I think this highlights the importance of testing. It highlights the importance of matching those targeted therapies to 
uh, the gene targets that are found in patients' tumors, and now the nearly half the patients are able to find a, a, a target that leads to therapy. Again, a very uh, good year, uh, developments all through the spectrum of care from early to late stage uh, illnesses, uh, clear benefits from the new therapies we had, and a lot of hope that this uh, wave of research will continue and lead to even more benefits next year.